Next, documents obtained by the BBC suggest that Greville Janna misled an official inquiry into abuse in Leicestershire's children's homes. The former MP for Leicester West was charged with a string of child sex offences before his death last December. Well, now details of his evidence have been released under the Freedom of Information Act. Our social affairs correspondent Jeremy Ball is in the newsroom. So then, Jeremy, what exactly has emerged this evening? Well, the BBC has obtained transcripts from a major inquiry into the Frank Beck scandal. He was a prolific sex abuser who ran several children's homes in Leicestershire. And Greville Janner was questioned by the inquiry's chairman, Sir Andrew Kirkwood, right back in 1992. We now know that the MP was asked about his dealings with Beck in the decade to 1986. His reply was nil except on one occasion when Beck might have answered a phone call. This year, though, another inquiry found that Jana had considerable dealings with Beck and visited children's homes regularly, and one former detective gave the BBC a first-hand account. Sat in an armchair was Greville Janna. Next to, next to Greville Janna was this young boy. I thought well, that was a bit, a bit strange, and he's actually been too tactile with a young boy who was obviously in the care of the local authority. And what happened after you put the report in? Well, I never heard anything more about it. What else has emerged about this? Well, these new documents have revealed that Greville Janner's defence to allegations during the Frank Beck trial that he sexually abused a boy in care. We now know the Kirkwood inquiry. He told the Kirkwood inquiry that he did take the boy on trips, but he said he always had permission from care home staff, and he also said that was encouraged by the former director of social services, Dorothy Edwards, but he strongly denied that he'd had uh, any sexual abuse there. And why hasn't any of this emerged before then? Well, because the Kirkwood inquiry allowed Greville Janna to give his evidence in private. The reasons for that are going to be investigated by the new National Goddard Inquiry. But these new documents have also revealed that Kirkwood gave Greville Janna permission to mislead the media by falsely claiming that he hadn't been asked about child sex abuse claims, and that simply wasn't true. OK, Jeremy Ball, thank you.